Morning everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jan Kielstra. We're in the freestall barn this morning and we're gonna be doing a little bit of maintenance on the beds in here. So this is where the cows lay. They live in this barn and their beds are kind of breaking down a little bit. So we just gotta do some standard maintenance. A bunch of the U-bolts that hold this bracket on, which holds our neck rail on, are broken off. I think I walked through, counted 19 that broke loose in the entire barn. So we're gonna be replacing those with some new U-bolts. I think in the past we might have over tightened the nuts on these U-bolts and that's maybe led to them breaking loose a little prematurely. So brought a smaller impact along this time and hopefully that's gonna just have less torque. These nuts that we put on the U-bolts, they do have a, uh, yeah, I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like a lock. So you shouldn't need to worry about them coming loose. We've done about half of the first section of beds. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Maybe I can zoom in. Yeah, so this part of the neck rail has swung way out. So I gotta kick it straight. So there we go, got her strained out. Now we can tighten all the U-bolts back down and put new ones in where it needs to go. It's the next day we finished up with that neck rail. Every single bracket holding the neck rails in the freestyle barn is securely fastened, so should be good until a year from now or two years maybe, we'll see. Anyway, this morning we're drying off cows. We got a group sorted out and they're separate here, except we decided to do it a little bit late so we didn't tell our feeder not to dump milk cow feed in front of this group. So I'm just gonna move it with the skid steer to the rest of group two and then we'll get this group of ladies here, a lighter ration, which they're gonna eat for the next two days, and that's gonna back them off milk. This just has too much energy in it, and they will not back off of milk, so their new ration is gonna contain a lot of straw. It's gonna be basically just a filler, keep them from being hungry, but they are gonna back right off of the milk production. Doing that is not make big piles like I did there and there otherwise the Juno is gonna struggle with them later on today so I'm gonna have to come back here I think during tonight's milking and just push them up with that skid steer with the blade but otherwise this group here is ready to get a different ration this afternoon we're gonna be cleaning manure off the concrete behind the feed bunks in the corrals just corrals eight and nine right now we have a bunch of dry cows in the corrals more than usual and that's just because they all, I guess, got pregnant at the same time, so we had to dry them off. And uh, that's fine. A lot of these ladies are gonna calve in a couple months. They'll get out of here. But right now they're here. They're filling up the corral a lot quicker than usual. So we're just gonna get in here and clean out right behind the feed bunk. We're gonna chase all these cows into corral eight. These two corrals are tied together. One other thing, this feed alley, the drive through here, it's already dry. That was a quick melt. You can already see dust. It's only been like, I think it's minus one technically right now, but that sun, it just cooks when it gets on the dirt. Anyway, we'll chase these ladies over, get to work. Gonna be using the case loader, of course. This is kind of our muck loader, if you will. We try to use this one for all the manure hauling. New Holland's got about 17,000 hours on it. This one's a lot younger. So we try to put the hard jobs on this guy. Come on, Cheetah. You gonna hold up the herd again? Come on, ladies, let's go. Yep. Yippers, let's go. Hey, Cheetah.
Uh, it's one curl done. I just pushed it all over into the next one. Didn't bring a load away yet. We'll chase the cows back into the smaller curl and then we'll start bombing them away to the pile. Bless you, lady. I was just chasing the next corral over to do the second corral and I got a phone call from one of our milkers. He said, tire exploded on the skid steer. So right now we're looking at our S590 and uh, yeah, explode is exactly what it did. That's no bueno. She's sitting there pretty, pretty crooked. It's crazy how lopsided this thing looks right now. But uh, he's gonna use our second skid steer, the clean one, to do the scraping. And then we'll have to try and throw a spare on this thing real quick. Get her back up and going. I just went and talked to Brent to ask him if we had a spare rim with a tire. We do not, but he told me that earlier today he ordered four new tires for this Bobcat. It's pretty funny. Goes the afternoon before he's gonna pick them up the next morning. But uh, I figured if we lift something super heavy, like a bucket full of sand, if I can get hooked up to it, with that Bobcat, it's gonna take all the weight off of that rear rim and I can just drive it to the pressure washer where we're gonna leave it overnight. Clean it off tomorrow morning before he puts those new tires on. If I can get hooked up to this thing, it's pretty lopsided. I think that's gonna be incredibly difficult. But we'll see if we can get it done. And in the meantime, we'll just scrape with the old Bobcat. Possible. I think I'm gonna try to get the pallet forks on that Bobcat over there and just lift it underneath the bumper in this back corner so we can hook up to that bucket. right beside the generator shed where we're gonna pressure wash it. But yeah, you can see, look at all the threads there. It was time. I asked uh, Slava, he was the guy running it when it blew up. I was like, did it explode on you? He's like, yeah, it went boom. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully that bucket doesn't seep too much because otherwise it's gonna put weights on the rim again. I think I'm gonna try finish those corrals up. I'm gonna need a person to help me chase those cows though, because they're being stubborn. Ladies were not cooperating, believe it or not. And we'll pressure wash that skid steer off, I think, yet today. 
It's a little cold, but we'll be able to get her done. So there's no way I'm getting these ladies over by themselves. They're just being too stubborn. Dad, Mom, and Miriam are all in the city. Nalene was at home feeding her goats. Uh, we do have two guys milking right now, but you guys saw they're going to be far enough behind this afternoon. So we don't need to delay them either. So I called Nalene. She was feeding goats at her place. But she was like, okay, I'll come out and help you. She didn't have anything else to do at the farm this evening. She was busy at home, but she's coming to help me. So shout out to Nalene. Hey! I do, nobody else is here. I know. Okay, which one? We're gonna move that corral over here. Hey, hey, come on. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Naleen. Follow my channel. Ad Sweet, we just finished up the corrals there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Follow my channel, A Dairy on the Prairie. <laughs> All right, let's go clean this bucket. So very conveniently, that tire on the skid steer blew up while dad was in the city picking up three pallets of stuff that we need to now unload at the farm. This truck's looking pretty dirty. But we got uh, copper sulfate, zeolite, and some salt blocks. And they all, they're all in pellet forks. We're gonna have to use the new Holland loader now. Might be a little tough to get the guy in the middle, but the two, one in the front, one in the back should be fine. It's a little overkill. But it works in a pinch. Okay, we dragged the pressure washer from the calf barn over there. That's where I used it last. To our pressure washer shed. It's kind of funny, it doesn't have a working pressure washer in it either. That thing's also broken. We still got one left, so we'll get this thing washed. It's actually not as bad as it looks. Like obviously there's quite a bit of manure caked on it, but compared to some other stuff that I have to wash regularly, like the uh, Gia liquid manure tank, this is a pretty small surface area, so it goes pretty quick. Well, we got her cleaned up a bit. Still looks like crap, but uh, that's just because the paint is flaking off. There's a bunch of rust on it. Side effect of life in the barn for steel equipment. Anyway, I think we're gonna go park it in the shop. I was gonna leave it out here overnight, but it's gonna be like minus 15 tonight. I guess we could have used Nalene's Volvo to unload those pallets too, it's here. I don't know what the lift capacity is on it. I'm sure it's similar to our skid steer, so. Oh well.
just looking here at the other side rear tire it's also getting close to going well it'll be ready here for Brent when he brings those new tires tomorrow and I guess he's gonna put them on himself onto the rims that's it that's all folks thank you for watching today's video and I hope to see you guys in the next one